Okay, Kevin leaves his bakery at 6.50 a.m. to deliver some pastries to the hotel. Okay, if he drives at a constant speed of 80 km per hour, he will reach the hotel on time. So imagine this is his bakery and the hotel, the distance. Okay, bakery, hotel. So he actually leaves his bakery at 6.50 a.m. And if he drives at 80 km per hour, he will reach the hotel on time. Okay? Now, next. If he drives at a constant speed of 64 km. So, case 2. Same person. He's now driving slower. 64 km per hour. Okay? He will be 10 minutes late. In other words, that let's say if uh, there's two, two cabins. Imagine there's two cabins. One cabin travels at 80 the other cabin travels at 64. When the first cabin reaches the hotel, do you think that the second cabin is here or here? One or two? Two, two right? Logically. Because it's tra traveling slower. So, now the second cabin, because it's driving slower, he will only be here. And he will still have to continue traveling, right? Okay, now, the second cabin needs to travel how long before he reached the hotel? The second cabin needs to travel how long before he reaches the hotel? Beyond. Do you agree with him? Yes. Okay, because they say he will be 10 minutes late. That means he will require another 10 minutes to reach the hotel. So from here to here, we know the time is actually 10 minutes. Or in terms of hour, how much is that, uh, Jing Kai? 1 over 6, right? Okay. Now, so far okay with the information? We know the speed for this part of the journey. When I say speed, is for this part of the journey. Eh? The speed here is how much <coughs> earnest? If you need to use calculator, something is really wrong with you. <laughs> 64. Right, help you. Uh. Do you agree it's 64? Okay. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. Now, at what time is Kevin supposed to deliver the pastries to the hotel? First of all, we need to know the time. Okay. Remember we talked about something called uh, speed time ratio? Because uh, it's a long time since we touched on speed. I'm not sure whether you all uh, remember or not. Okay. You must... If the uh, speed is 1 is to 2, time is? 2 is 1. Okay, very good. So now, right, we know we have 2 person, okay, and their speed is different, okay? Kevin, the one that's uh, the faster Kevin, and the slower Kevin, okay? So the speed, right, the ratio of their speed is actually 80 is to 64, am I right? What's the simplest uh, ratio of sky? Five to four, right? Correct? Now, if I want to know the time taken for the faster cabin against the one that's slower, what do you think is the ratio, Lauren? Four is to five, right? So, the time, right, okay, you know that the faster cabin takes a shorter time, 4 units, correct? Yeah. Whereas the slower cabin takes 5 units, correct or wrong? So, the difference of the time, right, in terms of units is how many units, Clarence? 1 unit, right? 
So am I right to say that the one unit is actually one six hour? Or in other words it's like ten minutes. Maybe we use minutes is even easier. Correct? Yes or no? Yeah. So we know that actually the faster Kevin actually took 40 minutes, whereas the slower Kevin takes 50 minutes, right? To complete, right? The task of delivering from the bakery to the hotel. If that's the case, I would know that if Kevin leaves his bakery at 6 6.50, at what time is he supposed to deliver to the pastries to a hotel on time? 40 minutes, right? So, what time? 7.30. 7 Quite easily done. Okay, so of course you need to draw a timeline, 6.50, okay, you add 40 minutes and it becomes 7.30, okay, so the answer yes, very good, Wenti, 7.30 a.m. Please include your units. Anyone has any problem or not? Speed time ratio is a very, very important technique, okay, of solving, but you need to practice many times to get used to it or else it will not come into your mind okay let's stop here